Denver Broncos this season suck donkey dick. The Denver Donkeys suck donkey dick. It's unbelievable. Literally today, they lost to the 2-7 and seven Raiders. Like, what, what the fuck is going on? I mean, they look clean as fuck. Yeah. Those uniforms they were wearing? Sheesh! Fire. They wore the old school Johns that we were talking about in that last video. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Fuck, dude. They suck ass. They suck horrible ass. Dilly, have you been ri- noticing uh, how s- much ass sucking and donkey sucking they are doing? Honestly, no. I, have, I haven't really kept up with it, but I do see sports stuff on like no. my social media, but I haven't seen them, so I'm assuming they suck. Yeah, so, so they see, do they suck. So, like, I think, so they nice. they do legitimately suck. There are some interesting yeah, statistics coming out with this, too. Because yeah. the Broncos weren't expected to go very far this season, and then they traded for Russell Wilson, and then all of, like, Vegas Sportsbook backed the Broncos. Like, Vegas was saying, no, now it's actually a good likelihood that the Broncos would actually go to the Super Bowl kind of thing. Yeah. You know, like how, do you ever notice that? Like how Vegas puts out, because like Vegas, you bet on everything and all the sports and everything else. They'll put out that list before the season. They're like, number one likely to go to the fucking Super Bowl, Buffalo Bills. Number two, Kansas City Chief. Number three, this and that. And Broncos before Russell Wilson were like 19th. And then after Russell Wilson, they were like seventh. So they went from like bottom half to to top 10. Oh wow! Just with the acquiring of Russell Wilson before they even st- played a game, that's what Vegas was saying. They were like, "Okay, now they're a top ten team because of it, Russell Wilson." So, because of that, Broncos had a hell, had a hell of a fucking high expectations to fucking surpass yeah. for this season. Everyone was like, "They are going Dang. fucking far." They were kind of like the Brown. They're kind of like it's the same sort of season that the Browns had when they first got OBJ. Yep. If Tanner, yeah, Tanner's nodding. He would agree with that. Like, the Browns. Yeah, I'd say, but even to a crazier degree. For yeah. Sure. Just because of the, the position that we have him at, obviously, in mm-hmm. quarterback. It's just absolutely, like, insane. Like, Broncos aside, Russell Wilson looks like a terrible quarterback. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's fu- completely fallen off the fucking cliff. It doesn't make any sense to me at all, really. So. Just because, like, a couple of years ago, he was literally, like, top three, top four quarterback in the yeah, league. Yeah, but so. I think it does make sense to me because, like, oh, thank you, good sir. No problem, no problem. All right. Okay, it's we'll pause and then we'll continue on with this. Okay. Got to taste this drag. Some interesting t- statistics, and then we'll just talk about the generals. I just had to set that up for Dilly since he didn't know right. how the Broncos are doing because he's not a sports boy. Of he's only the m- smallest of sports boys. The smallest. Yep. So, largely thanks to Pat McAfee. Obviously, right. if I did my own research, I would figure this out, too. But most of I this is watching too. Pat McAfee on my lunch breaks and hearing them, and then I verify what they said. Right. First craziest statistics. They have the number one scoring defense in the league. The Broncos. The Broncos have the best defense for scoring in the league. So they have the most intercepted two touchdown. Right. Pick sixes or fumble yeah. recoveries for a touchdown. Yeah. Yep. All of those. That's pretty wild, eh? Yeah. Wouldn't number one guess. defense. Very bottom, 32nd offense. So we literally have the best defense in the league and the v- worst offense in the league. So, well, scoring-wise. Yeah, scoring-wise. But still, um, just kind of puts in perspective how how bad the offense is when yeah. we've only won three games out of ten. Yeah. And, and then here's that good. this crazier statistic that I found and I verified. Um, so theoretically, this is all theoretical stuff. If every team, every game went the way it did, the right. opposing team scored the same amount of points that they did score. Right. But the Broncos scored 18 points instead of whatever they did score. <laughs> right. We would be 8-1. and one. Yeah. That is fucking mental. Was that on his show that they were talking about that? Yeah, they, they just like blipped it out and everyone okay. went, wait, what the fuck? And I went, wait, what the fuck? Went on ESPN really quick and I was like checking them and I was like, oh shit, yeah. Literally only one game okay. we would have lost. Theoretically, if we scored 18 points in regular time, in regulation time, we would have won those games. It's just what's really <laughs> also puts it in perspective how fucking dog <laughs> dog shit the fucking offense is. It's so sad. Um, and I mean, we have we have weapons on yeah. that offense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna we've say we got I'm Judy, we got Sutton, we I'm got not KJ, right. we've got fucking. Also, hot take, I think Cortland Sutton sucks. Really? 
I say that literally just because of one fucking thing. I can't remember which game it was this season, but yeah. it was memed the fuck out of. Russell Wilson's not helping anything. He's not right. throwing darts no. in the right locations or anything, and he doesn't have chemistry with the fucking receiving he, court. Right. He might be smoking darts, but he ain't throwing darts. You know yeah, mean? but he does not have the fucking chemistry. No. <laughs> Um, so he does not know where those guys are actually going to be, so right. he fucking sucks dick. Yes. He threw one that was obviously not for anybody's route. Right, okay. But it was the closest to K.J. Hamler. Okay. And Cortland Sutton comes out of nowhere. Oh, Jesus. And fucking tries to catch it, so then it was K.J. and Cortland fighting over the fucking ball, and it oh, became incomplete. Uh, and if they, if Cortland just left it to K.J., if Cortland just right. kept on running his route and just let KJ break route and try to catch that, right. it looks like KJ would have caught that and then also probably ran for 10 or 15 yards before he got taken down. So that was when I was like, okay, Cortland sucking might suck dick. Like He was obviously just trying to make the best out of a worse situation, which is right. Russell Wilson throwing the football. Right. That's the worst, which is insane to say. <laughs> no kidding. But Russell Wilson throwing a football is the worst case situation. Man, didn't he turn into Tim Tebow real quick? Dude, no. He didn't even T- – Tim Tebow I would rather have than Russell Wilson <laughs> right now. That's a fucking take. Fucking that is a take. What happened to Tim right. Tebow? Where'd he go? Oh, he's just wow. praising Jesus in Florida. Yeah, he, he, He's doing uh, – <laughs> he does, like, sports commentating. Yeah, sports like, commentating. He does football. a lot of, like, mission – religious mission mission Boys, stuff uh, yeah. and all that. So he, he doesn't play football anymore. Is no, he he's a commentator. He tried to get into it. He, was like, he came in as a tight end for the Jacksonville Jaguars when Urban Meyer was there, and then he got cut. Like the week before week well, one, he was he was a quarterback for the Broncos for a bunch of years, and then yeah, he was the cor- he was the starting quarterback before Peyton Manning. Yeah. Oh then, yeah, so way back. Right, and then for like there was three like a, years. there was like yeah, then there was like three more years that he tried to make it on other teams. And yeah, he got, got traded up. to the they Jets. Went and played baseball, funny enough, for a minor league team, and he was actually kind of good at that. Really? And then realized football is his life, so then he yeah, then, no, he, yeah, then he Urban Meyer, his college football coach, was like. Okay, we'll fucking give you a shot, dudes, because I love you. He tried to play tight end. Right. He hasn't played tight end since, like, middle school or something. Uh, Absolutely crazy. sucked dick, which obviously that yeah. was going to happen. His size was the only thing cool. that was good for that position. Yeah, exactly. But, Big dude, right. So, yeah, then he just said, fucking, I'm going to commentate college football. Which, shit, that's a pretty good fucking life, you yeah. ask me. Yeah, facts. Oh, it, yeah. Him and Jesus are like... He was like the... And he was like <laughs> the largest so voice, like, football. anyone across the country that didn't like this, huh? like, players paying for their likeness across college sports thing. Right. The ones that were against that, he was like the sounding board. Like he was the voice. It's true for the "don't do this" movement. I see, I see. Um. So, ah, uh, shit. Um. So yeah, I. Yeah. But imagine that, like eighteen points, dude. It's ridiculous. It's not unheard of. It's actually common to see a team score eighteen points or more in a game. They're like so. The just fucking, saying um, eighteen points. It's like, what the fuck? They're like the opposite of the avalanche, you know. Back in 2015, the Avs were literally the worst team in football. Or, yeah. sorry, hockey. And then, But in 2015, we literally won the Super Bowl. Looking at Super Bowl 50 champions. Yeah. I think that's the same fucking football team as discussed. You know, it's not. It, well, it's obviously. It's 1,000% not because we only right. have one player from that team still. Oh, Jesus. That's crazy. We only, McManus is the last Bronco that was a part of the team. I served him 50. a few of these paint brushes, actually, at that golf club. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, the Broncos uh, need to figure it out. Yeah, they so need to yeah. figure it out kind of really bad. And it's not going to happen this season. Oh, my mama mia. That's yeah, that's good. pretty good. That's good. That's a very beachy. Yep. Yeah, that's good. 